<laughs> Welcome back to the Technical Beast server. <laughs> We've been playing with portal guns, that is hilarious. He's got a bacon portal gun and you can move entities and blocks with it. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll see you in a bit. Yep. <laughs> oh, this is great fun. Um, Raven's went to made a bacon portal gun, and with that you can move spawners. I knew you could move spawners with them, but I didn't know it was that gun that did it. And that creeper is just having so much fun. He absolutely loves it. Absolutely loves it. So, today I think we're going to be spending some time grabbing some spawners that I had at over my old area. Bringing them over here somewhere and grinding out some easy level 5 spider spawners. Not spider spawners. Zombie and skelly spawners. And then we can change them to whatever we want. So we've got gas we can have. I don't know what ones you can get from Twilight Forest. So, lots of progress since I last did that bit. And we've got the portal gun set up. We have got the bacon guns, so we can now pick up spawners. I think it's F. No, it's G. There we are. So that's pretty cool. These are the two spawners that I had over in the original area that I was playing on. So that's nice, and they work. So we're going to be turning these into soul shard grinders. So basically, I think we're going to set them up here somewhere, just so they're within range, so when we're just doing stuff here, they'll accumulate zombies and skeletons. We can kill them all pretty quickly, even with a splash potion, and get a soul stealer sword out, fill up a load of shards, and then combine them with level zero ones of whatever mob we cho choose and get really nice spawners so I did actually go and find a witch hut I went out 3000 blocks I think I set up a portal here whoa that's not friendly is it zombie not friendly at all okay so yeah I came here see so the coordinates we are on you know, 3600 and 1500 and I came here sat here for a while and got one witch to spawn after ages so I've got a one kill on a witch <laughs> soul shard we have the skeleton ones left over from when we were getting the skulls and as they no longer work there's not really any use for a skeleton one and we'll be grinding more out anyway so let's find the anvil and do the honours witch plus skelly goes to tier 5 <laughs> witch spawner <laughs> And over here, let's go over this way, we have a spawner set up that we started. At the moment I think we have creepers and endermen on them. We have to wait for it to load. There you are. So this is a giant <laughs> obsidian pipe set up. All automatic, no need for any energy in this at all, which is nice. And serves. Oh, it saves on server lag as well. So we've got spawners up there, they drop down here. All the items go through the iron pipes which go one way only and they will get funneled eventually into the ender chest we'll probably change that to a different type of ender chest so we have a different input over there but at the moment we have endermen and uh, creepers like I said I think so over here should be the endermen, endermen on here and there's a creeper one we made that into a level 5 doing the same combining trick like this so I'm going to set up the witch one I think in a minute so I'll be back with you then. Okay, so we're back at the spawner. And we're ready to put this witch in. We've been waiting for this long time, haven't we, Ravens? <laughs> hey. <laughs> yeah, which was a pain to get. Which one do you want to in? I don't know how close they are to the edges. Uh, oof. Next creeper. Yeah. Have you done set up the wire? Oh, there is wire set up. Okay. Yeah, there's wire set up. Which is in, and should you turn them on? Uh, from above, there's okay. one lever. Yeah, there we are. <laughs> Had to check if they. Yeah, they die fine. Oh, that's awesome. We can oh, see the items go man. through now. <laughs> oh man. We've been waiting for the unlimited glowstone for such a long time. And sugar. We can get sugar. Yeah, all that sugar. Yeah, all that we sugar. We can never get sugar before, especially yeah. not from a biomass plant. That yeah, impossible. yeah, yeah. I, I'm. Oh, there's sticks as well. I really want those sticks. <laughs> all the sticks. 
there's a huge amount of stuff coming from those witches, isn't there? Yeah, it is. It is. And those spider eyes. Venice wanted those spider eyes. Yes. Oh, I, I oh I I will use them too. <laughs> use them as a food source. No, 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 no. The, <laughs> the factorization. Some of the factorization stuff needs spider eyes. And... Oh, that's going really well, isn't it? We got to set up the wireless redstone sometime for that. Yeah. That's going to be really cool when we've got all these spawners set up. At the moment, it's still a temporary thing. We haven't come to a final conclusion of how to make this. We've got our slime, our blaze, our more endermen probably, if you want more. We want our experience farms made out of these as well. Not quite like this. And we've still got the pick one we can move over. But yeah, we're going to get on and uh, I'll show you the progress of the processing plant. As I did promise before, that it would not be a mess next time I filmed. So, see you there. Okay, I'm back. And now it's after when I did the live stream. As you can see, the village is a lot cleaner. I'll go and show you that in a second though. First I want to show you here, this hasn't changed very much. I upgraded the blast furnace. And all of this is just now waiting for version 8, which we should be going to in the next couple of days. I really do hope. And then we can just get on and do the machines, because I'm just waiting for that change to come through. This thing here is a temporary soul shard grinder very temporary, it's deliberately up here in the way looking really nasty so that we do, do tear it down pretty quickly and I went and did a load of grinding on it and I think I got well, it's 7 or something around 7 um, tier 5 spawners that I can make and I can just c combine that with any uh, tier zeros that I want to make a specific spawner and very briefly I'm going to show you because Zim will be showing this as well oh that's not where I wanted to go Let's go over to Raven's portal. Doop 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 and it should be down here. There we are. This is our U factory. We can get up here. And this is where we're producing all of the U matter. And it's just on one chunk loader here in desert. So that even at night time the maximum badness you're gonna get is just the night time speeds. You will not get any rain in the desert so they won't interfere with anything so these will still run as much as they can so basically it's the best way of doing uh, U matter keep the highest energy coming out of the solar panels at all time up here we've got some scrap machines just producing scrap and throwing it into a chest that then gets put into the auto crafting table automatically and sent through to here now four of them do keep up with how much we've got going through at the moment and I think last time I checked it was about 8000 EU coming down here to go per tick so this has been going quite fast which is very pleasing and then from that because then in version 8 you cannot use the whole um, rich stag trick to get more platinum you have to do it the long way basically so using UU matter you can make iridium ores well iridium pieces so that's how we have to do it then so it's been packing up the UU matter as fast as we can as you can see we've got another 200 or so there but it takes about 8 stacks of UU matter to make a whole panel for the ultimates so they are a bit slow and just waiting to fill up the, the desert area with them quite a lot so then I can start putting them here without needing to worry about you know, not being efficient with power so I did go to Twilight Forest with the other guys we look over here now and it loads we had some weird loading issues the last couple of days just not loading very quickly and as you can see this area is being transformed we'll be turning this into a proper nice village eventually but I went headlong and said I'm going to change this I'm going to clean it up see the holes being filled in just a little bit nicer a good start anyway for a couple of hours work so we did go through to um, Twilight Forest with Exuma and a new server member which is Pryzy um, you might know him from JL server so that's really nice and I have got some footage of that so I'm going to show you that now and then I've got some other objectives I want to complete in the Twilight Forest today so enjoy the clips oh yeah hello guys and welcome back to another episode on the Technical Beast server today we're going to the Twilight Forest I'm here with Raven's Child and King Happy and our newest member, Pryzy. Hey. He's hey got guys. a sore throat at the moment, so he might not be speaking much. 
and we are we're all ready to go I've got prepared you can see I've got loads of potions all sorts of things everyone's equipped and the way that you get to the twilight forest is like this you make a 4x4 four four, no sorry 2x2 two two, uh, square of water and you put flowers around it like this and then you throw in a diamond which Raven's child is going to do now Whoa! Ah, <laughs> my golem! Whoa. I'm expecting that. <laughs> my golem! <laughs> He's on Put fire. it in! Are they going to oh, come through with us? Oh. Got to let go of them. Oh no, they're just taking a bath. Come here. Let's go the through. The golem bath. Yeah, let's do this. There we are. Uh, yeah, let's get... Oh my god. I can see deer falling uh, from the sky. Is there, is there one under the... <laughs> <laughs> this, this is cool. Stop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and set up a building quickly. Oh 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 oh, 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 that's that's a huge fountain of oil here. Oh man, that's still updating. We can that's use that for power. Fast. Oh, I forgot to pump. I need to pump here, and I want want one of these trees here. Oh, what's this? <laughs> a little birdie. Oh, it's a tree oil. Oh, Ooh, fuck. Dude, there's loads of little things. What what's explosions? That? There's a building over here. Oh, don't go in there. And there you are. As you can see, we did come through. We went to Minotaur area. And I killed a Naga. But I want to look in here on the objectives. If we go on to Twilight Forest, there's a whole load of things here which I want to do today. A bit distracted from working on the processing plant, but I will do that when we do upgrade versions. So, arriving is an achievement. Killing a bird is achievement. You can do these with make magic map focuses and a map. So I'm going to try and do these things today. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to skip the minor tools because I've done them enough. We did send some iron golems around though. And I think I mostly made this area safe. Lovely blocks though. You can break them with your vag, which is great. But it's quite dark in there, so... Oh, some stuff left. Oh, there you are. They don't really do much damage. Which is a little bit of a shame. On my Let's Play, I will definitely be doing it in normal armor, not in OP gear. So, definitely have lots of fun doing that. But today I'm just going to do some OP killing of bosses. And we did get some map, maze map focuses, and I can make them into uncrafting tables, which I wanted for some reason for quite a while. Let me get out of here. So first thing I'm going to do is locate a naga, a lich, and a couple of mazes, and also some hollow hills, because they are some of the big achievements on this. Up in here, it says need to kill a goblin thing and then there's another thing on top of that so I don't really know what I'm doing on the map sort of thing so I'm gonna look for my first boss and I'll be back with you and just a side note solar panels do work in Twilight Forest which is awesome and so does the armor but only when it's daytime and this is daytime as you can see it's going up in the nighttime doesn't look much different but they don't work then so I'll be back with you when I found a boss to kill. Okay, time for first boss. And it's the hardest one, I believe. Ooh, I can make a portal here just in case. So that should be my way back, I think, to um, where we came in. Not. I'm quite far away from there, as you can see, over 2,000 blocks. But I'm going to try and kill this. Uh, I just hope that this is going to be enough. I've been told that this is the hardest boss. We'll give it a go. That looks simple enough. Yep. One head down. Splat, 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 splat. This, this seems okay. Yeah, I can deal with this, even if they're glitching out in my face. Oh, this is quite simple, isn't it? Now, from this, you get the blood, isn't it? which you can make certain tools with. I don't think I'll need them, but it's a nice thing to have. Hmm. You're gonna die. Oh. Oh, you've got five heads now. 
Okay, I can live with that. Do we kill the ones with the fire coming out of them? I don't know. I don't think it really matters with this amount of damage on me. Yeah, you can just die. Probably the weirdest thing to watch <laughs> if you've not seen Feed the Beast before. <laughs> I think you're about to die. Yes, please. Hide you down. Yay! Woo! Awesome. Is that loot? What have I got? I've got a Hydra Trophy. NYI. What can you do with that? Change the grass colour as well. And I've got Fiery Blood 7. Okay, what can you do with that? Fiery Ingots. And then you can make Fiery Armour. And Swords and auto Smelter Pickaxes. Cool to have. I don't think I'll be using them. I might make them anyway. This is a little den, isn't it? Shame that they won't respawn. Well, I'm expecting they don't respawn. So that's one boss down. We've got a lich and a. Ooh, there's a green thing. What's that? Getting distracted. Getting distracted. A lich and. Ooh, what's the other one? A lich and a naga to go now. So I'll see you when I find one of them. Now we're at the ram. Now I've seen one of these before and I know you're not meant to kill them. I don't know if they do anything really. What's the dispenser here? What's that? Wool. Okay. Hmm, well. I'm going to lay this on my map and maybe if anyone knows any use out of this then I can do something with it. Otherwise, I'm going to carry on for another boss. Okay, guys, we have a Lich Tower. And I've already been into it and pillaged some items and sent them back through my Ender Chest. And also, I don't know if I said, I went and found another Mind Place and I got some more uh, Steel Leaf things and some more Maze Charm things. But yeah, this is one thing we got to kill. And over there, actually, is a Naga. So we can get this done really quickly, hopefully. And hopefully, I have enough energy as well. I've just looked up how to kill one of these and just before I go in there I want to go help uh, Pryzee make a fusion reactor in a minute so I've got to kill these bosses quickly and then get back so let's go for this. Now they throw out enderpearl things and I've got to hit them back at it. That's what it says. So come on, throw it. And that, let me hit that. Can I spat? Yeah, you are. There goes one. That was easy. Two. One more. Come on. Oh. Now it's got to kill him, I think. Oh, yeah, that rips. Absolutely tears. Oh. <laughs> Have I got something? A zombie scepter. Nine charges. What can you do with that? Is it got use? You can charge it up, I guess. Okay, potion of strength and rotten flesh. So, what does that do? Oh, you can make zombies with it. Oh, cool. <laughs> Green zombies, are they strong zombies? They're not going to attack me, though, are they? Ah. Are they strong? Nah. That's a fun thing to have, and you can recharge it, so that's cool. I might scare some of them back at uh, the base. Well, that's one thing down. Oh, silverfish as well. I don't want you. You don't like me, I don't like you. Go away. So, all we've got left now is a Naga. So, I'll be over there now. And here we are at the Naga. This can be my second Naga, actually. <laughs> Awful things to say. Lovely bricks, though. Here he comes. They do glitch out a little bit. And they've got to hit the head. So let me hit your head. Don't hit the dogs. Now I can't get hurt very much at all. And they go through blocks, which is annoying. My last one did this as well. Started destroying his own arena. 
And it's annoying because I want those blocks. I don't want to stop fighting them to pick them up. So he can die pretty fast, so I can get on with my fusion reactor. There's Prizy. <laughs> uh, come on, die, die, die. They get smaller and smaller, I think, as you're killing them. But on multiplayer, I think they do glitch out a bit. It's like they're jumping. Okay. We'll see Prizy later. We'll just kill this thing then. A few blocks left. Where is he going? What? Come back. He's panicking now. There you are. And we get... What do we get? We've got some ender poles on us from the other boss. Some naga scales. Okay. So that's my round... Ooh, golden sword. My round of bosses done, I think. Ooh, helmet. From the other one. So that was not very eventful. Um, there's lots more things you can do in the Twilight Forest. Um, don't say anything about that. There's lots of things you can do. We've got to work out what monsters and things we want to put into soul shards. And what animals. I'll collect these up though because these blocks are cool. Look at them. They look awesome. So, I'm going to go back and see how much progress Prizy made with the fusion reactor. And I'll see you back in a bit. These look pretty good actually. Looks like some sort of army person. This is the still leaf. Looks okay. Mm, not gonna be fighting in it, but it looks pretty good. We're gonna get out of that view. There we are. So I've got a couple of things I want to make from what I brought back, and one of them, if I have some space, one of these. Use that one. Is an uncrafting table. Now I won't use all these maze map focuses. You put crafting tables around and maze map focus, and you get uncrafting table. And I'm told you need levels for this. Something I want to undo. There should be a turtle teleporter in there somewhere. Okay, so I've got the turtle teleporters. I made this a while ago. They just use ender pearls. I'm not really bothered about the ingredients. I just want to see how this works. So one goes in, nine levels. So, okay, you just click it on that. So what happens if you do so yeah and then you can go back okay okay so you could do it with, not with them okay what else can you do it with not that what could you do it with the portal gun not with the zombie thing you can get gold back Oh, they were red. Why are they red? Not enough? Apples? These are quite cute. Mm, I don't think I'll be using it for very much, but I'm sure we can find something we can do with it. Maybe one of the mob drops we can disassemble. Anyway, just a nice thing to have. Next thing I want to do is the steel leaf. Not steel leaf, I want to use the naga. There we are. One of the achievements is to get the legs and the... legs and the body, should be. So, we're going to go on with the body. So, there we are. There is a body. And the next one is a leg. Legs. They should be achievements. I thought they were achievements. Gone here. It says Craft Nugger Scale Chest and Leg Armor. Chest. Leg. Maybe they don't actually work. <laughs> okay, well, they look a bit weird as well. I don't know if you can uncraft these. That might be a nice thing to check. Oh, you can. Well, that's good to know. I can let the other ones make them as well. <laughs> the other people on the server. That could be cool. So, what else do I want to do? What else do I want to do before we finish today? Well, Prizy has been getting stuff together for his uh, fusion reactor to make lots of energy to make more um, U matter. I don't really know how they work, I haven't looked into them yet. But I'm going to make him a load of stuff for that. Um, I won't do it all for him, I won't finish making it because it was his idea. So I think I'm going to make one of these and I'll get back to you. So we need us some Iridium. That's enough for now. Now time to make them explode. 
Got 29, should do for a little while. And there we are, 29 plates. Next we have some Labtronic Energy Orbs. Oh, can I make two of them? Have we got any more sitting in here ready? Yes, we do. This is good. I hate how they get charged up as soon as they come into my inventory because of the <laughs> helmet. And there we are, so we'll throw these in here. Now these electronic ones go to all sorts of things, which I really want them. And I'll just do a few more of these. And there we are, I've got some more energy orbs. Now these can be used in all sorts of things. These are really awesome actually. You get a fusion reactor, we can get our adjustable energy storage unit, which people keep telling me to make. Um, charger mat, not really needed, but we can. Super condenser we need for this machine. Can make more matafabs with it. Also, Dragon Egg Energy Siphon. I don't know what that actually does. Lapshon Pack. Tesla Staff. Cloaking Device. So I'm sure we'll be playing with them sometime, but not yet. I've got a few more things in here to make first. Before we end. There we are. Energy Flow Circuits. That should be enough for the moment. 16 of them. We can make a whole load of these highly advanced machine blocks. Now we want to make this. So we need two super condensers. We've got some of the stuff over here already. Let's grab that. Is there a hole? In oh, there's a hole underneath it. So I've got some of these already. And let's crystals because I want to use them. And let's just check the recipe. So it goes them on top, them on the corners. I like how these ones actually stack for once. Um, two Lapatron crystals. Lapatronic energy orbs, I should say. Um, oh, I missed something. I should have some. Oh, that's what I want. So I get those ones back wherever they went. Yeah, I didn't want all of them in there. I want to actually use some in here. There we are. 12 superconductors should be okay for now. So much high level stuff and that goes in there and then we have them so we get one oh what's another one did they run out okay oh, okay I know why there we are so we got the super condensers what else do we need for this super condensers Grec Tech computer machine so if I just put this one back in here like so then all we need to do is make a Grec Tech computer cube. Now I should make a couple of these because these have got some really cool things for them. UM assembler. I don't know what they assemble them into. Adjustable energy storage unit. They'd be cool. Um, and the other bits you've seen before. And a player detector. Hmm. Could be cool. Anyway, we're going for fusion reactor today. So I'm just going to make a couple of Grec Tech computers. Now these are quite annoying because you need emeralds for them I think. Easy if you have data storage things. So I'm going to collect those stuff up and I'll be back with you. And here we are the final things for today. We get our data orbs. We then get our computer uh, monitors. We've got a whole load of them we can make. And then we put them in like so. And we have our Grectech computer cube. So that's going to be a present for Prizey when he gets back tomorrow. <laughs> he can make his thing there. And the only other thing you can make for that are the coils. I think these are basically the wires that go with them. I'm not sure if these exact ones are meant to be used for it. I've left him to test the coils and I can leave him the rest of this. So hopefully, next time we have a video here, we'll have a fusion reactor up and running. So, hope you have enjoyed. That's all I have time for. Over here is my laser setup. They were all blue earlier because I had NG cubes on them, but that's run out now. So yeah, I got a little bit impatient waiting for the diamond and arctic, whatever they're called, circuits. So yeah, I'm going to leave you with this little tiny clip. Um, the episode is over now, but there is a little clip that I found very amusing, me and Ravens talking. So, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Um, we have a we have a we have a cookie factory here in in Germany, uh -huh. uh, Leibniz, yeah, and um, they make 
these flat cookies, butter cookies. I don't know if. Um, yeah, yeah. And someone stole uh, the the um, a huge metal cookie they have as a <laughs> as a sign, and then. Uh, the 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 person that stole that thing wrote them a letter, put in a <laughs> photo of him dressed as the Cookie Monster from Sesame Street, <laughs> <laughs> and he's uh, he's demanding that Leibniz shall shall, shall uh. Him? Give, yeah, uh, uh, the Leibniz has has put out a uh, put out uh, uh, money to to give them to give the to get the the, the cookie back, <laughs> and now he's demanding uh, give the, that money to to children to 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 child hospitals and all that <laughs> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> It's a twenty twenty kilogram, twenty kilogram heavy brass cookie. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's oh. really good. Oh.